Hi, this is my review of the Dogman Sergeant armed with a halberd. This figure comes included in the Witchlands Dogman line for the Flintlock Black Powder Fantasy Skirmish game. If you haven't seen my other videos of Flintlock and the other figures in the Witchlands Dogman line, I recommend that you check out the links in the description below. In this video, I'm also going to talk about some basic strategies and tactics. Let's talk about the figure first. This is a white metal miniature. It comes with its own base and both the base and the miniature are quite sturdy. The miniature itself is highly detailed. The cleanup was minimal. I only had to remove a very small like a mold line and I had to straighten up the halberd just a bit. So the miniature looks great even when unpainted but of course, you will want to paint this miniature. Or if you're not too much into painting miniatures, remember that the Alternative Armies website offers the service of painting the miniatures. So there is the option of ordering these miniatures pre-painted. Now, these are some images of how the miniature is presented in the Alternative Armies website. And then here are some images of how I painted the miniature. As you can see, the cowl or hood adds a lot of personality to this miniature. It gives it an aura of mystery and a certain no-nonsense attitude. Now let's talk about the strategy behind this miniature. This miniature would be best handled as a close combat specialist if you want to play it as it is designed that is armed with a halberd. Some could consider giving this miniature a ranged weapon, perhaps a pistol, but I think it would be somewhat of a waste thematically because if you wanted to give this miniature a ranged weapon it would be better to give this miniature a musket because for the sake of melee weapons simplicity a bayonet and a halberd work the same way in terms of the bonus that they will give you during melee combat and you get a bayonet for free when you equip your miniature with a musket so if you are using the miniature just armed with a halberd it would be better to handle this miniature as a close combat specialist. And to do that, there are some things that you must take into consideration for this miniature to be effective in the battlefield. Basically, the main purpose of taking a halberd and not a musket armed with a free bayonet is that you want to save some points because a musket is more expensive than a bayonet. So you can save those points in points matches for something else. Perhaps some other piece of equipment, some other traits or skills, etc. I would recommend that you take the pertinent number of dogmen in your section so that the national characteristic of dogmatic pragmatic comes into play, giving you a bonus in initiative. Because you will need that bonus as you move this miniature in the battlefield from cover to cover. Because you are completely unprotected in terms of ranged combat. If you are getting shot at, you won't be able to fire back you need to stay hidden and wait for the right moment to charge at your opponent just when that enemy miniature gets close enough for melee combat. Now let's talk about some skills and traits. There are a lot of dogman specific skills and traits that this miniature can benefit from. In skills we have Big Bark. This intimidates your opponents within melee range, so it's going to make you more effective in melee, of course. But you also have Flea Color, that gives you a somewhat limited ranged attack. That is, you have your Flea Color, and that allows you to control this cloud of fleas. It only affects mortal enemies, but if you are fighting a mortal section, it's going to be quite useful because you could charge at your opponent, and while you get there, you could perhaps toss this cloud of fleas and then you finish off the opponent up close and personal or maybe you have already engaged your opponent in melee combat but the opponent is trying to get away wounded this flea color could finish the job at a distance when it comes to traits boneyard will turn you into an undead slayer dogmen are highly efficient at removing bones from undead opponents so this gives you a chance to eliminate your undead enemy or at the very least, cripple it for the rest of the battle. The trait of Dog Nose 
could also give you an advantage because being a close quarters combat type of figure, there is a good chance that you may end up dying in close combat. But Dog Nose, as you may remember from the core rule book, it basically means that your character was not dead. It was perhaps just knocked unconscious and he gets up after the battle and uses his Dog Nose to find his way back to the section. When it comes to Floss, I would advise against taking Dogman Floss. Because for example, if you take the Werewolf Antagonist Flaw, because this Dogman is going to be specializing in melee combat, there is a good chance that you may end up too close to an allied Werewolf, and so your Dogman with the Halberd could fly into a rage and start attacking your own Werewolves. And in the case of the Dim Dog Flaw, I would also recommend that you do not take this flaw because you're going to be quite useless in melee combat and your greatest contribution in the battlefield would be to help other figures to reload their weapons and you would be missing out on using your halberd against the enemy. Now I also recommend that you consider taking a couple of generic skills. You have the dodge skill that is going to give you a chance at avoiding attacks in melee combat because that would add survivability in any close quarters confrontation. Another skill to take would be stealth because this will allow you to start behind cover. Potentially, it depends on the scenario, but it's still a very good skill to take to start the game uh, behind perhaps a wall or some buildings and that will allow you to get closer to the enemy and protecting your dogman sergeant from enemy fire. When it comes to generic traits, any trait that you can take to enhance your melee success potential. For example, you could take Knuckles, that adds to your impact when you win at melee. Or Iron Heart, this actually gives you one more wound. So this also adds to the survivability of your Dogman Sergeant. Now let's talk about strategy. I would recommend that you take this dogman armed with a halberd and keep it close to a trooper armed with perhaps a musket or a rifle or a pistol. Because this way, that ranged combatant can weaken the enemy, perhaps score a few hits to negate the activation of that enemy figure or wound it so that you can get up close and eliminate that opponent. Your allied figure could also take care of those opponents that are trying to get away from your uh, halberd armed dogman sergeant. So it's all about teamwork, taking care of the enemy that way. But if during the battle your sergeant gets separated from the rest of the section, you should stick to cover. F try to trace an imaginary line that takes you from cover to cover so you can move getting closer to the enemy or to the objective of the scenario, maybe you need to capture a certain object or a zone, or maybe you need to assassinate a specific figure, try to keep moving your halberd armed dogman behind cover all the time as he makes his way towards the enemy. And you do not need to play it safe when it comes to movement, because you are not going to be shooting at the enemy. You should move as much as possible using double march to get to that objective to capture that ground, to eliminate that enemy trooper or sergeant or section leader. The most challenging act is going to be keeping this dogman sergeant close to your standard bearer and the musician to get that bonus in different activation checks. So I definitely recommend that you include this uh, dogman sergeant armed with a halberd in your section in Flintlock just like the other figures in the Witchlands Dogman line. These troopers are affordable and quite decent in their stats to include them in points matches or in any scenario in general. And in the case of this Dogman Sergeant, the Halberd gives you a capacity to be quite aggressive, moving forward and not worrying too much about shooting at enemies from afar, although you do have to take into consideration that the enemy is going to try to gun down your halberd armed dogman. Well, thanks for watching my review. Don't forget to check out the links in the description below. And I will finish reviewing the rest of the miniatures in the Witchlands dogman line pretty soon. 
If you have any comments or questions, please let me know. See you later.